Vlogmas, 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 Vlogmas! Hi everybody, I'm Kelly Watare. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to day one of Vlogmas, y'all. It is the 1st of December. We finally made it. Let me tell you guys what we're going to be up to today. One, I need to clean out my closet. I think it's just, I've been meaning to declutter my closet for the longest time. I have clothes that I haven't worn since like two pregnancies ago and I still have them. I'll never fit them again. I'll probably never wear them again. Um, some of them don't fit well. Others I really just didn't like, but I just hoarded and just held on to them for some bizarre reason. So because we're coming towards the end of the year and it is Christmas time, I do like to give away a lot of stuff. Um, and a lot of old clothes in particular because I'm making way for a new closet in Jesus' name. <laughs> I want new clothes. <laughs> and the first way to do that is to get rid of the stuff that I had before. So I need to do that. Um, secondly, I need to cook dinner. Chonks is away um, tonight. He'll be back tomorrow evening. He's gone to um, Mutari for work thing. So it's just me and the kids. So I have to make it through tonight. Uh, make them dinner and just chill. So yeah, that's my plan for today. I hope you guys enjoy. But first things first, we have a cup of tea. <laughs> you see, this is how much of a tea lover I am. I make this this giant pot for myself, and I just sit there and drink like a cycle. But yeah, I love a good cup of tea. Um, it just helps to center me. Right now, I'm having some masala tea, and um, it tastes good. I first had it in Kenya, and I absolutely fell in love with it. This tea set actually. I got from um, Chomps' mom, Dala, being his mom's eldest sister when we got married. So it's very, very precious to me. I absolutely love it. I think it's beautiful. So, yeah. So anyway, let me tell you guys how Vlogmas is going to work this year. So basically, um, I'm going to be taking you guys through my everyday, day-to-day -day life from now until the 24th of December. So the last video you guys are going to see is on Christmas Day. But I'm going to be filming every single day of my life until then, sharing a lot. We have a lot we need to talk about, a lot that has happened, a lot that we need to unpack. But we're going to do it slowly, slowly over this Vlogmas time. I have some things that I need to tell you guys. Uh, but we'll get there. We'll get there. We're going to take it one day at a time. Um, I'm also going to be sharing product recommendations that I highly, highly enjoy. So I'm going to share one product every day of something I absolutely love. We're going to call it Kelly's Picks or something. Basically, one thing that I, I, I love that I absolutely enjoy that I'll show you at some point in the video. It could be in the beginning, in the end, um, in the middle. So we'll just have to see how that goes. So yeah, if you guys want to see anything particular during this vlog, English. <laughs> you see anything? If there's anything in particular that you want me to show you during this vlogmas time, let me know. But yeah, it is the rainy season now. Um, my flowers got drenched. I have flowers outside that aren't doing very well, so you might see those. But yeah, guys, basically showing my life. I struggle to do vlogmas sometimes because I feel like my life is not that exciting. But you guys always give me so much grace and just stick around despite all of that. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna be doing that. But for now. So this is what we are working with. It is a mess. I have a lot I need to go through and a whole lot of stuff over there. It's a lot. It's a lot. So basically my goal is to put aside a couple of pieces per day that I am looking to give away because I can't I can't take it anymore. It's just it's just too much clutter and I don't wear three quarters of these clothes and I just need to get rid of them. So let's go little by little. You know, actually, so this jersey here, I'd gotten it from Mabiro a few years ago. Should I get rid of it? Oh, so, oh, actually, this dress I haven't worn. I think I've only worn this thing once. You know, I've had this dress since like 2015. It's like really long. And I just, I just never, like I think I wore it once, but it's one of those that has the buttons going all the way down. Um, let me try and see if I can put you guys in a better place so you can see what I'm actually doing. One second. Third. Oh, no, not yet. I think I'm going to keep it. I just haven't worn it in a long time, but I think I'll hang on to it. Okay. Welcome to my closet. <laughs> Nothing glamorous going on here, but we need to get rid of some things. So anyway, we'll chat while I'm decluttering. So basically, I've been on a journey lately. I've been on a journey lately of waiting on the lord i've been in a season of waiting there's some things that i've been praying for for the last six months that just haven't come to fruition and it's really hard it's really really hard because you're kind of waiting for god to show you the next step so um i debated whether i actually want to talk about this but 
anyway i think i'm just gonna do it since you guys are here anyway um but we are looking to move back to harare um from chimani money because we need better school options for mj so there is sorry mj is like wailing out in the background so just ignore that i hope you guys can hear me but anyway um so mj does go to crash here in chimani money but it's not very good um look they're doing their best they are doing their best but obviously you can imagine a rural area the level of education is not that great so um we need him to start going to a better school because obviously primary school is coming so we want him to go to a good feeder preschool he turned three in september so he needs to start ecda um in january and we want him to move to a better school so better school options would be mutare and harare so initially we'd consider mutare because it's a lot closer to chimanimani of course it's a beautiful beautiful city i absolutely love mutare but um things just didn't work out we had some plans that just didn't work out the way we'd hoped so we then decided to then consider harare again so obviously the most obvious thing is what would happen in terms of you know the hotel and our life and our house here in chimani money and the truth is i don't know <laughs> i don't know i don't know um we've just really been i've really been struggling because i'm i'm a control freak i'm someone who loves to know what's next but i've made a decision to trust god to work out the details of everything that's going on as hard as it may be i have trusted him he knows what i need to do he knows mj needs to start school he knows that if um we're moving to harare it means i obviously need to get a job and we need to figure out what chunks is going to do for work and you know all that kind of stuff but it's been really really hard i have um this idea first came up in june and i have been job hunting since then and it has just not worked out <laughs> um yet um i've had a couple of interviews and um one company i had the interview i went it through to the to the uh, to the second stage it was for a remote job and then they ghosted me after that which really really sucked so if you're a business owner out there please don't ghost candidates it really really sucks because it was so horrible because i got through the first stage it was a 30 minute interview it was great i made it through to the second stage and the guy's like yeah cool um he kind of made it seem like you know there's a done deal we like you we just want to see um so the the second part of the interview was a writing assignment and i had to do some infographics and everything because it was for a communications and PR role um, with some content creation as well, which is right up my alley, right? So I did all that. It was like a thousand word assignment and I did the infographics. I spent days putting it together. I really put my all into it. I had mom and dad proofreading it. I had chunks proofreading it. Like I'd done my research. I had my stats to get it, like everything. I think I did a really, really great job. And I emailed it. And then the next day, the guy's like, cool, thank you so much for your work. Give me a day to review it and I'll get back to you. Cool. And then he didn't. Day one, day two, day three. I'm like, okay, cool. Day four, day five, no problem. A week later, I sent him an email. I'm like, hey, um, I just wanted to check. Did you have a chance to go over my work? Um, can you give me your thoughts? And he didn't get back to me. And I haven't heard from the company since then which really, really sucked because actually that was the company that was going to help us to then move to Mutale because it would have been a remote job, which would have been perfect. And we found a school in, in, in Mutale already. I found the most amazing preschool there. We'd found a house even. Guys, like we were ready. Hey, We were ready. We'd found a house. We'd paid a deposit. We'd done like all these things. And then these guys ghosted me and it just didn't work out the way we'd hoped and i was crushed to be honest i was i was actually really mugged because it's really upsetting but ah uh, eventually i moved on um kept on with my with my job hunting recently um last week actually i was in harare i saw i've been in harare a lot lately just going up and down for mostly personal reasons chunks's younger brother lindani um you guys might remember him he got married um uh, a couple of weeks ago so we're in harare for like a month and a half for that whole process and then i came back to chimani Wane, and then like two days later i got called back for an interview in harare then i went to harare that was last week thursday um so i had the interview and then today is thursday and i still haven't heard back from them so part of me is like do i call them like what, what is the protocol for you guys that know like what is the protocol do you like holler back and be like hi you know i just wanted to know if you made a decision so i really wanted to call them but thomas is like not just leave it 
if they want to um if they want to hire you they'll get in touch with you don't be psychotic just leave them so once more i'm in a period of waiting so it's been hard to be honest the song for my season has been um wait on you i don't know if you guys know it by maverick city and elevation worship but it's basically saying the song is basically saying wait on the lord and he'll renew your strength and you know all that stuff basically why you should wait on the lord and you know his timing is perfect and so i'm praying guys please pray with me because i really really want this job and it will just make a lot of things fit into place because like i'm saying i know in january i want mj to start school I don't know how that's going to happen, where I'm going to be working, where we're going to live, you know, all that kind of stuff. And it's, it's, it's hard. It's really, really hard, especially in a time where like, I feel like everybody's got everything figured out. Like, especially like in Harare, I haven't lived in Harare in so long, but you know, seeing friends and family in Harare, everybody knows like, oh my gosh, I applied for my kid to go to the school when my kid was like a fetus and all that stuff. And I just have no idea. I, I don't i don't know i don't know but it's it's very very uncomfortable but um that's my prayer request for today actually maybe no you know what? let's make this video about prayer guys let's put, put your prayer requests as well in the comments tell me are you in the season of waiting on the lord if you are you don't have to say what you're waiting for you can if you want to um but let me know what it was like when you were waiting on the lord and even better your testimony how he came through for you in that time because I'm really, yeah. Anyway, we should be decluttering my closet. We're not supposed to be doing so much talking. You see, you, do, you guys talk too much. You talk too much. Now look what we had. Okay, closet, right. Okay, this dress I need to give away. So this dress, I got it from um, Lorraine. You guys met Lorraine. Remember that, that video I did with the sisterhood in Skies about a year back? Lorraine was in that video. I got this dress from her. Guys, this dress is so sexy. And it's got like a cutout back and everything like it is stunning. But I could like this was I could fit this like two pregnancies ago. Now the reality is the body is not bodying the way it used to. Hey, and to be honest, I don't know number one where I'd wear dresses like this anymore, and number two, if I'm comfortable showing as much skin as I used to, even when you're younger. Yeah, so this one has to go. Oh, get in your face! I haven't figured out where I'm gonna put all these clothes but um i'll find someone to give them to but anyway let's keep going i just found this key and i have no idea what it's a key to i don't know honestly we've just had so many like before this house used to be rented out and we found so many random things um anyway like look at this key like what do i do with a random key it can't be for here like as you can see <laughs> this uh, Maybe it was for this at some point. Well, anyway, random key. Here it is. If anyone wants a key, let me know. <laughs> Hi, Molly. How are you? Hi. I'm filming a video. Yeah, I'm working. Yeah, see you later. I love you too. Oh, I see, this is always my thing. Like, I just, do, I like, I look at all my clothes. I'm like, mm, maybe I might wear you one day. Anyway, no, let's let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Progress. These are all dress tops that I wore a lot when I was pregnant. This is. Oh, shame! I used to love this. Let me show you. This is like a. So this is like a little. It's like a maternity thing. I loved it because it had pockets. You know, anything with pockets is like, ah. but anyway, I am very much not looking to have another baby. So I'm getting rid of my maternity clothes as well. Um, oh, let me show you guys one of my favorites. Oh, so this shirt was my dad's. Um, you know, when like after someone passes and, you know, People like give away their clothes and stuff. I took this shirt. Um, it belonged to my dad. I absolutely love it. I look like a trucker or a lesbian with this thing. Like I look like one of these really, those really butch <laughs> women. <laughs> women. I, I literally, I look like I drive a gunyet in this shirt. But I love it so much. It's one of like my favorites. And 
Chomps knows every time that he sees me wearing it, I'm just missing my dad. Um, but yeah, I've got a couple of things actually from my dad. Actually, that blue hoodie that you guys see me wearing a lot, that was my dad's as well. Um, yeah, I've got a couple of things here that used to be his. Like I had some of my dad's old ties that I um, gave to Chonks and some of his handkerchiefs. So actually the, the tie that uh, Chonks wore on our wedding day um, was my dad's tie. So that was very special for me because obviously my dad had passed by the time I got married. But at least I felt like, you know, part of him was there with us, which was nice. So needless to say, this I'm not giving away, obviously. Um, yeah. Just I have so many, honestly, just some of the things we hang on to. Um, oh, oh, actually, this I got from my sister Trish last year. It's like a Victoria's Secret, like fragrance mist i love it i love anything victoria's secret oh my god let me show let me show you guys my favorite lip gloss hang on here it is this is like this is the lip gloss that i use right now i absolutely love it I lo honestly victoria's secret i love i love a lot um i got this also from said sister trish if you're watching this hey girl so this one actually she didn't intend to give it to me but when she was here last year she actually forgot it so <laughs> by default i inherited it Shame. I feel so bad. I like when I saw it, I was just like, man, I'm so sorry. Because I, I borrowed it from her. And I forgot to give it back. But anyway, if you want to buy me gifts, guys, I love Victoria's Secret. Their lip glosses. They've got these lip glosses that are also edible. So like um, my friend Alice used to have this delicious chocolate lip gloss. It was a terrible idea because you just want to eat it all the time. But yeah. Anyway, Victoria's Secret. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. So I have things that like i've just never worn before like i bought this blazer with my bureau like years ago and i liked it when i saw it and then when i got home and i actually put it on i actually hated it so like i don't know so this is what it looks like i don't know it just i feel like the color is too yellow there's something about it that i just i can't stand i just think it's hideous maybe it's the way i'm wearing it I don't know. Maybe if I'm looking to go back into working, I should hang on to it. But guys, let me know. Like, also, it's it's tight. But let me know. Am I? Should I keep this? Keep it or let it go? I just feel like, in terms of blazers, because it doesn't look tan. It looks like a little bit more yellow in person, and I really don't like that. But let me know. And it's got like these very super super extra thingies. Anyway, let me know in the comments. Do I keep this? Should I give it away? I'm just going to put it aside for now. But truly, truly, I've never worn this thing. And if I haven't worn it yet, like... Anyway, let's put that aside. Uh, okay, no, these I want to keep. This I think I should get rid of, though. Let me get rid of this. I just really haven't worn this. Um, this... Oh, actually, this is my spa shirt here. I haven't worn this in... <laughs> can't even tell you um so i don't want to give that away but this top here never worn it ever i don't know why i just never i don't know there's just something about it but i actually never noticed till now it's got these things for you to tie so maybe i don't know maybe let me hang on to it let me at least try to wear it once and then i can decide oh, okay i think we're good for today i think at least i've tried i started the process yeah Anyway, I want to get into bed and watch some Handmaid's Tale before I have to get up and cook dinner. So I'll see you guys when I start cooking. I've done an hour of the Handmaid's Tale. I need to go and start cooking. I can really hear my is just wailing out upstairs. That's what she is up to. So just as I was about to go on and cook a whole rice stew and everything, I actually noticed I have a lot of leftovers in the fridge that I want to get rid of. Um, say hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. <laughs> We have a lot of leftovers in the fridge that I want to get rid of. So it means I'm not going to cook tonight. I'm just going to make some pork. And since Chunks is in here, we're going to have a mix of everything. A bit of rice, a bit of pork, a bit of chips, a bit of whatever's in the fridge. Yeah, yeah okay. So anyway, we're going to watch a movie with Mali. Hey. Yeah. yeah. It's got a terrible cold. So anyway, we're going to do some movie watching. MJ is already falling asleep. Um, he's got a bad cold, so he's been very, very tired lately. It's literally six o'clock, but he's like, he's passed out. I think he'll probably get up again at some point. Hopefully he's down for the night. Anyway, let's see. Maybe I might have an evening to myself. 
we make it higher and we just chew so it's dinner time for this young lady we're having porridge for dinner um she'd had avo um, for lunch avo and strawberries she seems to like avo surprisingly unlike mali and myself but yeah um now that mj is down looks like we're gonna have a girls night and then she should be down by about eight so yeah so far so good as you can see this young lady is a very very vocal now she's now seven months old we're eating salads she's trying to stand yeah we're doing well so it looks like we're having a girls night um yeah i think this is probably going to be the rest of my night so i'm gonna let you guys go and i'll see you tomorrow for day two of vlogmas don't forget to like and subscribe down below i'll see you guys tomorrow bye